Hello everybody and welcome to this uh, breathtaking episode. Today with us we've got hot singles in our area. Tommy, all the way over here from uh, Germany, which actually isn't that fucking hard over the internet. And we've also got striking over the, <laughs> from Germany, but um, I mean, you know, Tommy's already taken your thunder yeah, for I that. I came so. over, so... That's true, that's true. Sorry, I'm a little <laughs> bit, uh, bit, like, frazzled in the brain because I was testing my stream like five minutes ago. And I was just doing a stupid dance while these guys spoke so I could do a mic test. And for some reason, YouTube decides to make it public. And let me did see you, if I like, can... not press save? <laughs> I did, dude! Not to this is the save. second time it doesn't, like, it doesn't... Look at this, I'm just dancing! <laughs> oh, no. I still have, I still have it open. I'll save it for the afterworld. Uh, I, I put it here anyway, but... Save it for the next generation. Alright friends, um, so we've got striking today actually, new guest, uh, nothing that interesting about him so I'll just move on. But basically, <laughs> one thing I did really want to talk about, you guys know how your, um, your epic gamer set, right? Like your, your everything that you want in life, you've got your Razer headphones, you've got your Razer mouse, you've got your Razer keyboard, is there anything that you feel missing in life from Razer? My Razer mouse mat with RGB lighting. <laughs> well, that Where's my Razer kitchen set? Yeah, <laughs> while striking, I have news for you. <laughs> Apparently, oh, no. they're making a razor toaster. Oh, <laughs> yes, finally! God. And it's real. It's real. And it has RGB lighting. <laughs> it's got RGB lighting. <laughs> I mean, obviously, they're taking the piss, but that's so fucking funny that they're actually doing this. Okay, well, do you want that epic toast royale? Dude, if it doesn't toast the razor logo in into the toast. I'm gonna be disappointed. Oh but my god! The way they actually did it, it was like their oh Facebook page. It was a, it was a joke kind of that they posted, I think, years ago. And they're like, "Oh, if we get 100k likes <clears throat> on our Facebook page, we'll make a razor toaster." And oh, and no. and apparently, people getting razor toaster tattoos counted for a lot of likes, and people got 12 razor toaster tattoos <laughs> on them. To make this thing happen, so what the fuck? Why would you do that? I don't know, Why? man. So I mean, when, in the future, what can you do really? In the future, when you're toasting your razor tattoos, remember that someone, or when you're toasting razor toast, remember someone tattooed it on their arm, or maybe tramp stamp razor tattoo. I don't know. <laughs> Imagine you like about to get going with somebody, and you like undress them, and there's a razor toast. <laughs> What? Wait, what is- I recognize that logo, isn't that like some gaming thing? Yeah, it's a toaster! It's from Razer! <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you talk to- uh, what did your generation ever do that was important? Well, son, let me show you my tattoo! <laughs> do you know what I've sacrificed? <laughs> oh boy. I can still feel the scars! <laughs> well, oh, the toasters I've lost! Well, guys, you know, there's another thing that you could add to your little gamer set. So, um, <laughs> can't believe this is no. fucking real, too. Oh, no, it's deleted. Hang on. Uh, I'll try to find a, a new article for it. Okay, here you go. Um, so you know how, uh, you know, when you're making that razor toast, it gets all messy, and it's, uh, it's, it's just, you know, like, you, you start working up a sweat, and, uh, just, it's hard work, right? You know, like, toasting, you know, there's heat everywhere and everything. Well, Xbox has you covered with Xbox Fragrance, where you can... Oh. They're working with Lynx or Axe in other countries, and it's just, like, deodorants and fragrances and soaps, where, uh... If, th if first it doesn't smell like Doritos and Mountain Dew, <laughs> I'm gonna be really disappointed. But, I mean, first of all, what the fuck? And second of all, what kind of toaster do you have that gets the whole room heated? No, I'm joking, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's first of all, what the fuck? Second of all, what the fuck? And thirdly, why is Xbox making a fragrance? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, what can you do when the PS4 has better games? <laughs> it's your only solution. <laughs> That's true. That's a good point. Alright. 
Um, yeah, those are the joke joke things. Here's an actual funny article I also found, um, written by Eurogamer. Uh, it's basically talking about. <laughs> I'll just read the headline before we show it off. Or yeah, okay. Square Enix has an ethics department, and it told the Final <laughs> Fantasy remake devs to restrict Tifa's chest. <laughs> what? So, apparently Tifa's chest is too big, or was too big in the old game, even though it was like polygonic pyramids, like Tomb Raider. I didn't really think her tits were too big, it was just the old <laughs> graphics, I don't know. I mean, especially, you guys have seen how Final Fantasy VII used to look, right? Yeah, in, in, but I mean, yeah. the graphics were just breathtaking. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you look at Cloud, like, it looks like he's injected oil under his arms. Like, there's bubbles of muscle. Uh, A little bit, yeah. And uh, <laughs> I just thought it was so funny that Square Enix has an actual ethics department. Like, I don't know, isn't that just a human subconscious thought? Like, do you need a Maybe. department for ethics? Like you know, I mean, if you if it's Enix, probably yeah. <laughs> if it's a big publisher, probably. Oh man, oh man. Like the tits aren't even that fucking. No, small. they're not. It's like pretty decently sized tits. Those are actually pretty big. No, they didn't make them. No, they're not small. And and but they also looked fine before. I don't know. Um, I mean, okay, that was just the headline. Like, uh, it's a little bit out of context. They're basically trying to say how her her titties were basically free flowing before, because she's like a. She's a very athletic person, so they just wanted to add a sports bra underneath, which is fine. But first of all, I love yeah, that there's an ethics fun. department. But number two, mm. I just love that they felt like announcing this. Like, hey guys, we thought of those boobies, and we did not want them to be free jumping around. <laughs> I mean, it does sound to be like that was part of the whole uh, talk about having to redesign the characters and having to restrain the chest to give her the new athletic looks, as it says in the article. Yeah. That, that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They did it. Yeah. They did it for I mean, that. It wasn't just like yeah, they're crazy. too big. But yeah, it's not like they just mentioned it. No, no, really, no. But yeah. interview, but no, I, I, thought, I thought it was just funny. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I actually have one last bizarro news. Oh boy. Um. <laughs> you guys have played Cuphead. Yes. Uh, this is kind of old news now, but I don't know if you've heard of this. <laughs> Okay, I I'm hoping that someone answers with the answer I'm hoping for. What platform would you guys like to play Cuphead on? There's something oh, it's Switch, it's missing 100%. on something. No, it is coming to Switch, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably no. PC too. No, I, I want it on my Razer toaster. No, but actually, what it's actually <laughs> coming to is Tesla, like the car. Oh no. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, what can you do? Um, Gotta play Cuphead. I mean, it's not while you drive, but I just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what kind I mean, of conversation I was hoping to spark with that, but I just I, really wanted yeah, to mention I it. Just don't I just don't understand. Why would you, like, put it on Tesla if you could just put an Xbox or PlayStation or a PC into your Tesla? If you can afford a fucking, like, 35 million fucking dollar car, you can afford a fucking Xbox in your car, okay? Just play Cuphead <laughs> on your Xbox instead. <laughs> All right. I suppose I the it. way to show just how versatile Tesla is that you can even play games on it. Yeah, <laughs> and it's only when you're like charging, I think, and it's only chapter one because there's only a limited type of memory, uh, amount of memory that you can have. <laughs> wow. Nice, but very inno innovative. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, innovative, innovative, innovative. innovative. Nice pronouns. <laughs> uh, do you guys have any gaming news that stuck out to you recently that you wanted to talk about? Dude, it's dead. What? It's deader than my bedroom. News? Because E3 is over. Yeah, yes. right? Yeah, yeah. After E3, it's, <laughs> it's kind of a wasteland, right? Up. But this is the episode where we get to, like, freely talk about the games we've played, I guess. It's the way to kind of get it all out. Um, <laughs> actually, there was a really cool uh, indie game that was being kickstarted. I wanted to show that off. I'm, I'm, I'm going to see if the Kickstarter is still going. Yeah, 11 days left, so you can still kick kickstart it if you'd like. Uh, it's called Small Saga. And it's a uh, like JRPG style, like turn-based kind of game. Oh no! I moved my whole set. Okay. Dude, that looks sick as fuck. Yeah, it's uh, it's just a small RPG. Let me mute this. Uh, everything's like hand-drawn, and it looks really cute. But you, <laughs> like, you've got a little Swiss knife as this mouse, <laughs> and you're you JRPG turn-based attack this cat. And there's like different characters with uh, different weapon sets and stuff, and it looks really cute. And, I really, really like the look of it. 
Such a oh, cool idea. Oh shit, end. I just got spoiled. Fuck. What? The end boss is the Razor Toaster. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It, is a no oh, it actually hasn't been fully backed yet, so if anyone's interested in it, you have 11 days left. It's half backed. Oh, it looks so that gets completed. It definitely oh, looks worth it. Yeah, yeah, it looks How really, really cool. Have? They have 20... k only? That's like nothing. 20k, I'm looking at. Well, yeah, seven... It says, oh, 17 euros. Oh, oh you're looking okay. At dollar, it's I dollars see. for me, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I really like the look of that. <laughs> Do you guys... Uh, <laughs> Have you played many turn-based RPG games? Not my style at all. That's mm. I don't know why. Striking, I get the impression that you would maybe. Uh, a, a bit. It, uh, yeah, like mostly turn-based stuff like XCOM and such. But uh, those right. turn-based RPGs, it's really slow. Like, like Final it has Fantasy, to be a really good of. story. Yeah. So like yeah. it's really oh, hard yeah, to Final keep. Fantasy wasn't turn-based though. It was. Uh, I mean the old ones. Kind were. of. It has like the action-based. The old yeah, ones like were completely the... turn based though. Oh yeah, the old ones, yeah, but like mostly yeah. people talk about seven, I think. And it's like uh I don't what? even know what that system is called. I didn't play Just... the original seven. Is it isn't it turn based? I thought all the old I mean, ones were turn based. It has like a... But it has like a yeah, you have to like be fast with everything and okay. you have like a timer and stuff. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Like everyone has like an action bar that fills when it's full, they get a turn. So if you um, while you do actions, the bars for the enemies keep filling as well, so you need to hurry. Okay. Active time battle is what it's called. Okay. Yes. I didn't realize that. I actually Isn't wanna that just real life. <laughs> yeah, that is. I actually wanna play Final Fantasy. I mean they always looked uh on, like you can't really easily get into them, but it, I hear that the stories are really worth it. But I mean I'll mm. I'll probably check out this remake because it seems it's gonna get rid of a lot of the clunkiness. And especially like Seven I hear has a interesting kind of mysterious story, but that old school art style really dissipates any sort of immersion I would have, I think. <laughs> really? Did you I not look at it, dude? He's like wearing purple and... I played it! Oh, you played it, okay. I didn't finish it. I very, very, I'm very far from finishing it. But when I played did you it play for it? like three or four hours, uh, like three years ago. Okay, so you were... Okay, you were an adult, I guess. Yeah, um... yeah like it, it, it was immersive still. But then again, I'm easily immersed. In yeah, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure if it's good enough, you can get into it anyway, but... Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Oh, uh, new graphics are gonna be a lot easier. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, I think Resident Evil Two really set a good standard for remakes for. Oh yeah, game. that was perfect. Stuff. Man, that game was Such like game. top quality, top top quality. Yeah. Really hope they do free as well now. What? Really hope they do Resident Evil Three yeah, as well too. now. Yeah, me too. Me too, because I actually went back and played them all for the first time now, and Three was actually a really fun one. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll buy it a little bit annoying because of the fucking nemesis, but still. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Have you played uh, the old Resident Evils? Striking. I know Tommy uh, said he didn't. I know I played Resident Evil One, the remake on the DS. Yeah. Oh yeah, and you told me. I remember. I I said it was one of the scariest games I've played, and you said no, but then you revealed it was on the fucking DS. So. It's a bit uh, yeah, you played it, like on the train. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did play it at home, but yes, I mean, I suppose it does ruin a bit the atmosphere. Yeah. But it's like you know, it's less scary when you get uh, when you know what you're expecting. Oh, so you oh, knew yeah. what to expect? Zombies. Yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Well done. It's uh, a poopy game. Um, let's see. I also had, there was this update, you guys know, or Tommy definitely knows Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades. Um, <clears throat> it's a VR game where basically the gunplay is, it's pretty much the most realistic gunplay you can have in a game. Now, it's not really a game, there's a few game modey things, but it's almost mm -hmm. a simulation. Interesting. And, um, and they just announced this new update. It's a one-man dev, by the way. Um... Mm -hmm. They announced this new update called Meat Fortress, because the game is all about hot dogs oh, and sausages no. and stuff. And uh, I thought it looked so cool, man. I mean, it's it's just sausages in. Uh, it's literally Team Fortress. It's Team Fortress, yeah. I mean, and Valve is great about like sharing their IPs and assets, but like you can actually control all these TF2 guns in VR. Oh man, it looks Dude, really really awesome. fun. It's really cool. Yeah. Dude, that was really um, cool. 
that game is actually like crazy. They mm -hmm. he added so much like random shit to it, and the, it has a horror mode too, where you like play like a horror thing, and it's kind of survivally. It like it's fucking scary. They're you just, just experimental modes. Yeah. Yeah, but mm. it's still it's still fucking scary, dude. Yeah, it's it like is. you go down the, the dark hallway, you look around the corner, there's a giant hot dog. Holy <laughs> shit. It is actually like that sounds not scary at all. <laughs> like I'm joking. Sounds I'm like joking, a vegan. but it's like I'm half joking, but it's actually fucking scary. Uh -huh. Sounds like a vegan's nightmare. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I thought that looked really cool. And you can even rocket oh. jump, that's pretty awesome. Mm. I want to play this now. Yeah, I actually <laughs> jumped into H3. That's what it's it's the shortened thing. Yeah, H3, H3 VR. Um, like a month ago to see kind of what he's added. And there's so many guns, dude. And you can like put any attachment you want on anything. And and it's just fun to just kind of like inspect your guns. Like open the chamber and load one in individually. You can load your magazines. Like it's really, it's, it's real life simulation. It's really cool. That's a fun mm -hmm. game. Um, okay. You know, this uh, reminds me of another gu uh, gun game that recently came out. My friend Petro, if that says oh, anything to you guys. Yes, I've wanted that, yeah, that looks cool. for a very long time. Have you played it? Not yet, but I'm definitely going to get it. It looks really cool. It does look really cool. I think Rage got it, so maybe next time he's on the podcast, we can talk about that. But uh, yeah, that game looks fun, man. That game looks really fun. Let me show off a little bit of footage for those that don't know. It's basically just a side-scrolling, like... <laughs> crazy bullet time. I, actually, didn't we talk about it? I think we talked about it last a, episode at E3. I, a long time ago, too. Mm. Like, we definitely talked about it before. But, like, mm. um, I like they made, like, an anime sort of trailer, and that looked really fucking cool. And I usually, saw, yeah. I'd say just non-gameplay trailers are stupid, but this trailer is literally the gameplay, so... Okay, I'll check it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that game looks so fun, man. Yeah, I, I definitely want to play that. Did you guys ever play... Um, I think I might have also mentioned this. This was a game that failed. It was really underrated by the devs who made Magicka. I think they're called Arrowhead. Uh, oh, fuck. Do you, there was this competitive game that kind of played like my friend Pedro. Um, the last action that? hero? Showdown Effect. A showdown Effect, yes, I remember that. I yeah. don't know if I ever played that, showdown but I effect. heard of it. It was fun, but nobody played it. I mean, I, I bought it on day one, which happens really rarely. And it just died, I feel like, a few weeks later, maybe. Uh, yeah. Let me just find, like, a trailer here. And I, see, fun. I see all the latest, like, all the biggest YouTubers at the time covered it. PewDiePie, Total Biscuit, Angry Joe, like, but I guess just... <laughs> I don't know, and it was fun. Like, basically, there were different types of classes. Here, let me actually show some footage. Different classes, or different characters that had their own kind of weapons or abilities. I don't remember. It's been years since I played it. But it was, uh, there was some really crazy stuff you could do, like diving sliding i think you could like bash doors open and whatever again years ago i can't fully talk on it but um mm -hmm. it was fun it, it's a shame that it kind of failed that, that reminds me there's actually a free game on steam that seems to be still active double action boogaloo if that name double rings a bell. action boogaloo it sounds like a good name <laughs> yes uh, game all about uh trying to be really cool it not dying horribly all, all people look cool as well. Let's see, is there a trailer? Oh, I can... It's Matrix the game. Uh, it's on Steam, right? Double action. Yes, okay, let it's me just... free on Steam as well. <laughs> what the fuck? I just watched a guy like, like do the like Max Payne dive, but with nothing. Like he just <laughs> flattened flat on his belly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I man, I loved Max Payne playing through all of them. That looks like Nick from Left 4 Dead. <laughs> That's Nick. That is literally Nick. I think they're probably just reusing. Again, Valve doesn't care. Oh, wait. I apparently have this in my library. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's Steam for you. Uh, I mean, this is not a gameplay trailer. Ugh, whatever. Let's see if I can find a YouTube video. So is it uh, multiplayer or single player? Yes, it's complete multiplayer with oh, everyone trying that. to be Max Payne. And you haven't played it. I played a bit of it myself. Oh, okay. Uh, Would you recommend it? This is, uh, I'm watching Tio's gameplay, by the way. I couldn't find a trailer, so. Mm. Uh, I don't know how many hours I played, but I remember enjoying it a bit. It's, uh, I mean, of course, it's silly fun, but it's free silly fun. Have you guys it's played like... Max Payne 3? Yes. Not at all. Yeah, the multiplayer was this. And it was, like, mm. rock star quality. It was, it was actually really fun. I don't remember yeah. how the slow-mo 
I think it like slow mode the whole server or people near you in your vicinity. When yeah, you... in the vicinity, you know, I, I think. Yeah, so like <laughs> every time someone would slow mo dive, you just like, Ugh, and then you turn around and shoot them and stuff. Man, Max Payne 3 felt so good, the gun mechanics. Like people really shot on that game. I guess the tone was very different to the originals, but the, mm. the gunplay felt really, really good, in my opinion. <laughs> By the way, with Double Action Boogaloo, have you looked at the About This Game tab? Because there's a, a bit of fi funny interaction with the death at the question. Uh, on the store page? Yes. Just just read it out to me. Yeah, so it's is it like so it's like a Michael Bay movie? Don't talk to me. So it's like a ba uh, Freddy Wong movie? Hell yeah, now you're talking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I have... um. Actually, you know what? I'll save that for last. So stay tuned if you want a great story, okay? Uh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Um, okay, how, how about we actually talk about... Um, I played a game recently, an indie game, that I fell oh, in nice. love with. Recommended it to Striking as well. He liked it. Simi really loved it as well. Uh, I'm talking about Smile for Me. Uh, I did a review on it, actually, so... <laughs> if you want to check out my full thoughts, it's a game that uh, <laughs> basically it, it gives me. I mean, <laughs> I don't really want to kind of take away from it, but it gives me Undertale vibes, like the atmosphere and the dialogue and stuff of characters. Um, but the game is very different in that it's played first person, and the way you actually talk to characters is by physically moving your mouse up and down to say yes or left and right to say no. That is literally mm -hmm. how, that's how you converse and all characters ask you questions constantly. And there's just like simple puzzles with a simple inventory that you can kind of carry around with you. But all the characters are so memorable and funny. And um, the, game is, the game is really funny overall, but there's also like a kind of sinister, dark, like just that little thing that's hovering over your head. You're always like, eh, something, something's wrong here. And, um, <laughs> and I loved that game. I really loved that game. It was very short though for me. I beat it in like four, yeah. four hours or something, but... I mean, yeah, striking. Yeah. I, I never really heard your thoughts on the game since you played it. I mean, honestly, I'm very similar to yours in that it's just just was fun. Like the characters, as you said, were really nice. There were some funny moments, and I like that there were even some alternate options you could choose for a certain quests. So to yeah, say. yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's definitely a great game. Oh, that also reminds me. Yeah, I finally so read smile. On... Smile for me is the name for anyone interested. I yes. really love that game. Yeah, go on. Uh, that reminds me, since you mentioned Undertale and mm -hmm. Delta Rune being a thing where the first chapter was released, mm -hmm. recently Toby Fox actually on his Twitter said that he is now certain that he will finish the game. Finish Delta Rune? Yes. Uh, for those As of like, you for those that don't game. know, it was kind of like a, a sequel that he secretly released, or like a little. T I, I wouldn't say sequel. It's in the same universe, maybe. Um. And just kind of he like released on his Twitter as some fishy looking executable file. And I remember messaging striking like, are you sure I'm not going to get a virus from this? Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I, I thought it was already known that he would finish that. And uh, Yes, he was saying he was going to get a team together. But mm -hmm. he said that because he sets himself a limit on how long he works on a game, how many years. Right. Uh, he wasn't sure if he was going to make that limit. And now he recently wrote on Twitter that he is going to make it. Okay. And, uh, and he already wrote like nice. 50 extra songs and it's going to be more than 100 songs this game. Damn, okay. I just hope that what doesn't mean that the game will lose its focus or scope like many other oh, no. games. I don't think he can do that. And here is a picture of a design that he will not use as he himself said. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's uh, a good design quality right dude, there. Dude, I love stuff from Undertale, man. <laughs> It looks like it, it looks like the catch just sits on like a belt and is about to drop off as if the move melt uh, move belt moves move <laughs> melts. That's good. I, I, love man, words. I just want more Undertale, dude. I love that game. I go. Oh, I agree. That's a good ass game, dude. A lot of people shit on it because of the awful fan base. Fan base. Can, yep. Yeah, it's a, it's unfortunate, but the game is really so amazing. The yeah. Rick and Morty of video games. Exactly. That show is also just fucking fantastic, but mm. yeah, <laughs> I think everyone, actually still, everyone. Is that actually still cut? It had to be new episode they're, because it's I been renewed. Lost track. It's been renewed. They they're not released yet though. It's been mm. like one and a half year or something since the episode. Jesus, that's a good yeah. way though to keep 
interest, I think. Just like, let me have a break, I'll come back to it, and I'll be really happy to see it again. But I don't for two yeah. years, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit long of a break. Like a year or like know. half a year, I'm like, okay, yeah, I can understand that, but... <laughs> I don't know, I think I'll be totally just happy to see it when it's out, if they're good, and that's the most important thing. Mm. Yeah, obviously. That's true. Um, I'd rather have them take time. Yeah, I mean, like there's many games, Ubisoft games specifically. I talk, I've said this many times on the podcast, but Far Cry, Assassin's Creed, I really enjoy the series, but just if they come out every year, I don't care anymore. Uh, well, yeah, the way you play them is you just play every other. If you really like it, you just play every other. No, I, mm. I play all Assassin's Creeds, but I just play them four years after they come out, and I just binge <laughs> well, like three yeah. of them, and I don't do any of the bullshit sides, optional, like, you know, follow this, get this feather, whatever. I mean, Assassin's Creed 2, I did that, but that was a good game, so. Um, yeah. <laughs> wow, are you saying the others are? No, no, they are. I, I actually really <laughs> like them all, but Assassin's Creed wow. 2 is honestly... Ooh! Wait until you get to new, uh, new Unity. I can't fucking talk I've, to I played, I've, I've played me. Unity, and that's not okay. as bad as people say. Like, it's, it was fine. Oh, yeah, oh, right. Never mind. They, uh, they fixed their launch. I remember it being, like, fucking garbage I mean, when it launched. I mean, I'm usually someone who can... Even if... I, I played it at launch. I'm usually someone who can kind of separate glitchiness and brokenness from the quality of the game. I mean, obviously, you don't want that happening, but I wouldn't say the game is shit because it's broken. It's just, you know. So I, I would still I mean, be able to enjoy it, even if there's floating eyeballs in a cutscene. You know, as long as it doesn't I mean, happen yeah, all the time. <laughs> that's true. My favorite game is Gothic too. So <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> I think I lost. I lost all my arguments oh, there. <laughs> man, yeah, that wasn't a good game. Man, <laughs> all Germans loved Gothic. It's a Gothic. It's a German team, right? Not Devs. Gothic three though. <laughs> uh, Gothic three is alright. Gothic four doesn't exist. What's Gothic four? I never heard of that. <laughs> I'm not even sure if he has a casting or not. <laughs> <laughs> are gothics on for steam? context because nobody knows uh, really they um yeah the gothics are all on steam mm -hmm. um the uh the essentially one and two were fucking amazing and then three uh oh my god it was so bad at launch like it was unplayable at launch and then mm. over the years um people have made like a fix like it's a two it's like a one or two gigabyte patch or something where they fix all of the bugs and they fix all of the shit and they re completely reworked the combat system because the original was broken as fuck. And um, then Gothic 4, they never made, but they lost the license, so some other team made it, and it was fucking dreadful. Mm, that's, yeah, <laughs> development hell is, is a real thing when you keep switching dev teams. Yeah. Have you, uh, if you really enjoy Gothic striking, have, did you try it Elix, or did you even know about it? I actually did know about it. I didn't try it because it did sound to me like the old gothic freak glitchiness, and I was very worried about it that. It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's go. literally gothic three two. As someone, <laughs> as someone who's never played gothic, I really enjoyed Elix. Like it's, it's. You really feel the the offness. It is no better way to describe it. It's slightly clunky in ways and. I don't know, but I really enjoyed it, man. Like, I, I did two playthroughs, I think. Actually, no, three playthroughs. I did all three factions. Um, hmm. Yeah, um, I, I really enjoyed it. Tommy, I think you were less enthusiastic about it? It was okay. I didn't regret my purchase, but okay. it was definitely, it was like, uh, it was worse than I expected. And there was like so many things that were just so broken. Like, the yeah. way the combat worked yeah. in that game was the more you attack, uh, the stronger your attacks get, so you would like combo like crazy. And I remember the last boss, the very last boss, was supposed to be the most difficult enemy in the game. I killed in two combos. Oh boy! Oh because no! I comboed like crazy. What weapon did I just, you use? I I think I used a two-handed weapon. I don't know like what a melee kind, weapon. but it was like a two-handed. Yeah, I, I used okay. melee. Yeah, melee was a bit broken because I don't remember now. Again, it was years ago, but. I think, like, I had to, like, kite enemies, because if they had ranged weapons, it was so fucking hard to get. I did a one-hour review yep. on the game, so if you want to, like, see my fresh thoughts on the game, that was, that's the, that's where to watch it. But, um, I remember the melee combat was a bit weird, but I really enjoyed the game, man. And I think Rage Wild really liked it, too, who's also a big fan of Gothic, so, um, yeah, anyway, I, I really liked that game. I mean, if, at least on sale, you could pick it up. Yeah, yeah definitely. Confident. It's it's worth it, but it's yeah. like you, you shouldn't expect like a massive. Yeah, just go in with mm. slightly lowered expectations, and I think you'll have fun with it. 
Uh, yeah, I liked I liked Elix. Um, we could talk a little bit about. Maybe you can talk more about it. Striking. Uh, he showed me a game called Blood Garden. Is that the name? Ah, uh, yes. It called? Uh, can't find on. I think Death Garden. Death Garden. Uh, God, this Blood name. <laughs> Death Garden Blood Harvest. Uh, on my notes yeah. here, it's called uh, Blood Garden. Edgy. Okay. Uh, you so, just call it edgy, honestly. <laughs> yeah. So it's by the devs who made Dead by Daylight, and yes. it's a game that plays similarly in many ways. Um, so it's uh, four people or five survivors, four or five survivors versus one killer. Uh, you can talk about it a little bit, striking if you want. Mm -hmm. So it's basically the way I normally describe it to people: it's Dead by Daylight with guns. <laughs> yeah, but there's more to it. Yes, of course. More, yeah. It is uh I mean, it is similar in that sense that there's like one dude that can actually fight versus four dudes that have to survive and do objectives. And in, uh, in this case the objective being that they need to uh, gather blood on the map mm -hmm. without getting gunned down by the killer. And it's it has some really interesting gameplay mechanics like drones that the killer can activate and that scan the area that you need to then shoot down, which in turn can also alert the killer of where you want to go. And so that, that these kind of mechanics did allow to make bigger maps than that by daylight. And of course, because survivors are a lot more mobile, they could do more vertical maps and such. Yeah. You you feel uh, l much less useless in this game, or helpless, I guess yes. I should say, because you can distract the killer very easily. You can, like, just simply through clever parkour, because they're in first person, you're in third person, the, the killer's mm -hmm. first person, if through clever parkour you can kind of just like jump around a wall blah, 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 and then kind of confuse him again like that by day a little bit but yeah. I, I really enjoyed it i didn't we played it only like twice or something i would like to play <laughs> it more um it was really fun though there was like some good teamwork like i saved you can save your teammates uh again more efficiently than you could in dead by daylight yes. but i for me personally it, that doesn't make it better than dead by daylight it's just different yeah, definitely. It's like I don't think you can say better or worse. It's just different game, as you said. And yeah, well, if people like that style more, then more power to them. If not, then they can always play it by daylight. Yep. Yeah, just wanted a quick mention of that. Uh, I have a few other games I could talk about. Okay, one thing. Listen, I've been playing <laughs> Overwatch for years. Okay. Oh boy. And this started off as a joke, <laughs> because. Okay, so you know you play Rainbow Six Siege. This is the Siege uh, Siege Syndrome. You play Rainbow Six Siege, and you're defending, defending. Oh my God, there's two minutes left. There's only one attacker. Why isn't he pushing? Defending, defending, defending. And in the last 15 seconds, after after you waste for two minutes, the guy pushes through and dies immediately. That's what happens in Siege. But in Overwatch, the attackers are pushing, 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 failing, 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 and then literally in overtime, they somehow. Capture the point. <laughs> that happens 50% of matches. For To my team, to the enemy team, whatever. It started yep. off as a joke. I was like, you know, I have a conspiracy. Maybe Blizzard like slightly buffs you in some way if you're in overtime attacking. Like to make the match interesting. But now I'm... I, I shall say I'm 80% convinced that it's real. Like I still... Part of me jokes about it. But seriously, <laughs> that happens too often. And if you think yeah. about it, it could be kind of... It's not necessarily fair, but it would be interesting game design, like to just give them like a five percent uh, armor buff. You know, they take slightly less damage, or they capture a bit faster, or something. Because I feel like that happens in Overwatch, and I've gone a little bit in Heroes of the Storm as well. I don't know, but I just I just wanted to put that out in the world. Like that's that's my thought. Someone go into the coding and f see hack Blizzard and <laughs> see if it's real. But yeah, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but oh sorry, you first told me. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. And yeah, I just wanted to ask: Isn't it so in overtime the uh, respawn timer is a bit longer? Uh, for the attackers, you mean, or the defenders? Uh, for defenders, I'm not sure, but I'm talking about with just one swift push, like no respawning mm -hmm. or anything. Just somehow they managed, like overtime, one guy landed on the point, so it goes into overtime mode, and then somehow everyone else just manages to wipe your team, even though you've been wiping them for five minutes, six minutes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's it's a little bit fishy. I'm just I'm just saying it's a little bit fishy. That's all. I just think it's like um, it's like a, it's just a psychological thing. People mm -hmm. don't think rationally. Yeah, and I then, that too. Or like they just like we talked about this earlier today. We were playing some CS:GO and people in CS:GO, even in like 
the little bit higher ranks do some ridiculously stupid shit, and I don't know why. Um, and it's like the same in Siege and in Overwatch, I think, where like they just don't really look at the time, they don't really think about it, and then you like have to push in the last couple of seconds, so they just do it, and then they could have done this the entire time, but they never did because they never had the pressure of the time, and now they just do it because yeah. you can't lose anymore. So um, I considered yeah, that, but I don't know. Just through observations, it does like sometimes the team is fine. Like they're really just trying, but just they're outskilled. And it, yeah, it could be luck. Who knows? But I don't know. It's a little it, just through observation over a few years. I feel like there's something maybe. I don't know. Uh, maybe it has to do with the fact that uh, there's more intensity in the last few seconds, which yeah, maybe yeah. makes it that uh, defenders then lose their calm and make mistakes that they didn't do during the normal run. It's possible. Yeah, who knows? I'm just throwing it out there. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Do you guys have any g gaming conspiracies? We should make a new show called Gaming Conspiracies. <laughs> Oh, Man, boy. not off the cuff. If you let me think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Half an hour, I probably if I can get a couple. That's what I was thinking. Okay, how? Think of it for maybe next episode. See if okay, you can sure. think of anything. Um. All right. Uh, I mean, do you guys want to throw anything in? You would like to talk? Oh yeah, about? I'm convinced that Cisco gives me more bad people than I deserve. That's my conspiracy. <laughs> I, I think the wrong part is the uh, more than you deserve. <laughs> <laughs> Probably too, yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, uh, one, ninety percent of CS:GO people are bad. Yeah, go on. Yes, uh, one game I remember that is coming out soon, which makes me very sad and happy at the same time, is the Sinking City. Remember, I told you about this game a while ago, Sheep. Uh, yeah. Was it a Cthulhu thing? Yes. Yeah. Let me look it up. Not, not me... the creepy fish people thing. Hang on. I was about to say. Oh. Okay. Uh, hmm. This is my thought process. You said cool. And it's like you're excited for the game, but sad because it's coming to Epic. But I found a store page on Steam, so yeah. And take a look at the release date on Steam. 2020. Ah, take a look at the release time. date <laughs> in Google. <laughs> Somehow though, I knew that the sad part. I was like, what could it be? Hmm. Probably just, this is coming out to Epic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This game. Uh, actually, I knew about this as well before. It had a very creepy trailers. Yep. There's one here where he's I like shaving that. and ooh, some tentacles come out and stuff. Yeah. From, from what I understood as well, there's supposed to be like a lot of your own deduction because you have to connect points in the right way, figure out if something if you're being played or not, and okay. you, based on that you can have different results of your detective work. Like figure out if uh, the witness is actually telling the truth and this guy did this maliciously or this guy only defended himself from the attacker. Hmm. Yeah, it looks really interesting. Uh, man, I I want to actually read. Um. HP Lovecraft stuff because I hear that they're not that long anyway, and I've always mm. I've always loved the atmosphere and aesthetic in these. So Just don't ask for his cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, Google the cat. Uh, Google his cat's name, but don't put it on stream. <laughs> Lovecraft's cat. Uh, that's wow. <laughs> Damn. I mean, what can you do? Huh? How is that possible? <laughs> Dude, that guy, HP Lovecraft, was apparently, like, um, I've read a little bit about him. He seemed to be absolutely fucking racist when he was young. Yes. I mean, yeah, that's, it's part of the time. I don't necessarily even, like, I'm not surprised at all. But to name your cat that is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Though I believe, I'm not sure, was it the name of his cat or the one of the cats in his book? No, the name of the cat has often been cited in discussions. In, uh, yeah, no? Um, right, right. So, yeah, it wasn't his. Uh, though, to be fair, apparently it sounds like his uh, family na he named it, not him. So, <laughs> Whatever, it's there. still funny, dude. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, The Sinking City was the game we were talking about. Uh, yeah, but wants to check that this out. is probably going to be my game that will break the bow of no Epic Game Store. Even though I constantly, back in the days when I played Fortnite, got emails about my account being hacked <laughs> until I just deleted it. <laughs> yeah, dude, fucking hell. <laughs> How many times did you play Fortnite before you got that? Once. <laughs> yeah, that's my that's my that's my um experience with Instagram. I made an account once, used it once. I didn't even I like liked my friend's picture once, and I've since been saying oh, there's a there's a login trying to whatever, and I go and change my password, and it still happens. 
I don't know. I guess people really want Fortnite and Instagram accounts. <laughs> of course. I man. have like a similar problem on Fortnite. I don't know if that's like I don't know if that's because of some YouTube stuff or something, but like um I like logged into my Fortnite account that I haven't touched or like my uh, Epic account that I hadn't touched in like 2 months or so. And uh I had over 200 friend requests. And mm. they were all like random as fuck too. And I like I also had con uh, constant I have this all over the place where like people try and log into my shit. Hmm. So to be fair, the to friend requests, we do have to remember that you are the hot single in the area. Oh yeah, probably. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> dude, I, my like I have like a history of my um my origin account keeps getting hacked by some Russian dudes, and they sent me the like they they keep sending me the um the IPs so like I can look up where they're from and stuff. But um, mm. it got ha hacked like a couple years ago, and the guy just bought games for me, and I got my account back with <laughs> more games than before. <laughs> that actually uh, reminds me, a friend of mine uh, got his origin account hacked, and because of that, was boosted in Apex when he got it back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only got my account hacked once. It was my Minecraft account, and I, uh, I came back and it just had the what was it was like, the name was like Shadow Assassin something. Like so they changed the name to something like that, and the skin was fucked up. Like just weird colored textures. It was so weird. Sheep, that sounds to me like a cover up that you named your character Shadow Assassin yep, sixty nine. That's me, Shadow Assassin sixty nine X. Speaking, because we were talking about Fortnite, did you guys hear, you know how Fortnite loves to steal stuff, right? <clears throat> they took mm. the, uh, I mean, they yeah. took basically the formula of PUBG, they took, uh... Eh, I mean, eh, eh. I at mean, least they're doing it good. I, it, yeah, sure. Guns, guns in an open map, yes. <laughs> uh, mm, what? I mean, the circular yeah, the zone, the, game the, mode. the yes, dropping, yeah. dropping from the air. Yeah. No, that wasn't something that PUBG did first. Yeah, I know, it was, the, I, I know, but they... The way PUBG does it, Fortnite kind of pretty much copy pasted it. Is my is my thoughts mm. on it? Um, whatever, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm just saying they're always inspired by things, right? Like yes, they took definitely. the Carlton dance, whatever. Did you guys see that they recently took? Is uh, you guys know the YouTuber Jax Films? Yes. Uh, the, he him? did a whole video on developing a deep dab, as a joke. He was basically dabbing as low as he could to the ground. And oh yeah, I've seen that. And, and they, they added it to Fortnite. They took it. No! Look, look at the look at the timestamp I sent. He does a side no! by side. It's the no! fucking same, dude. It's the fucking same. Like they didn't. They did. Oh god, I can't zoom out on this. Not like this, my man. Not it's like this. Trace. What the fuck? Yeah, it's it's honestly. Hang on, let me just center better. <laughs> it's like the exact, almost exactly the same. And this is not a common thing, like dabbing deeply, right? That's his joke that he came up with. And I he... mean, they literally just told, they literally just took the dance from fucking Carlton from... Yeah, yeah, Ka I know. No, the Carlton. Uh, Turk from Scrubs. Yeah, yeah. They and took Carlton, few... obviously, too. But even the name, it, it's called, like, they didn't even, like, the Carlton, deep they dab, didn't, yeah. <laughs> they didn't call it the Carlton, but this is, they just called it Deep Dab, like, whatever. Mm. It's a bit shady, dude. And recent, yeah. and I mean, this is obviously, I'm not knocking this, this is not a bad thing, but, like, uh, recently Overwatch introduced the workshop mode where you can just type in a random four character seed and it like gives you custom game modes that people made. Now Fortnite is doing that as well. That's a good thing though. I'm not saying anything mm. against that. But it's just like, you know, they really like taking th from things. <laughs> and, um, yeah, they don't seem with, to With care, this, yeah. to sell it, uh, it's f at, least a, at least ask him beforehand. He probably would have said yes, even without royalties, I would say, and just like a credit or something. I don't dude, know. even if you ask for royalties, dude, if you give this, like, he would have probably been happy. Like, oh yeah, just give him yep. like 2k or something. Yeah. Like, it'll, it'll be fine. And Epic has all of the fucking money in the world. If you can buy so many fucking games to be exclusive on your store for years, then yes, you have infinite money. Yeah. And you can make it back with the fucking selling the dab. It's like simple money. I, yeah. I don't get it. I just don't. It's <sighs> it's sketchy. It's It leaves a sour taste. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I hate Epic now. <laughs> because of, because now? of Jack. Epic ended. Yes. Poor uh, Jack. They stole his dab. Poor Jack. All right. Um. Did you want to say something, striking? Uh, I mean. Oh yeah. I mean, I suppose one game that I am now looking forward to, which mm. is still still a few uh, two months away, mm -hmm. is going to be World of Warcraft Classic. Yep. 
Oh I know, boy! I know Tomas here is excited as well. Oh boy! Oh yeah! You wanna? We're, I'm already playing like not a classic, but like on a private server, and everybody there. I'm. St oh my god! I'm sorry, I gotta just <laughs> throw this in really quick. Okay. We're like fucking scared. This is like. This is cra some crazy shit that I've like never seen before. So the server that I'm playing on, um, um, for everybody who hasn't, who hasn't played WoW, I'm sorry, but like I'm gonna bombard you a little bit. Um, <laughs> I'm ready. Like, um, essentially, there's like um, the game has like guilds that do like high end stuff, and the server that I'm playing on has um, is like pretty hardcore. So um, there's the bosses and stuff all have like way more HP. They have way more damage on everything. So it's really really hard. Mm -hmm. And the like top guilds all quit now. They all quit like the past uh, month or so, and now mm. the entire fucking server is collapsing because uh, vanilla is coming. So vanilla is literally destroying our server, and we're like <laughs> trying to scrabble everybody together now to like start on vanilla. <laughs> it's the apocalypse. But, yeah, it is. It's or... like it's fucking crazy. Everything's just dying. So, uh, striking. You played WoW in what like um, state? I guess did you play it in classic? I'm still pronouncing it wrong. Uh, well, I only played in classic for like. Uh, I think a month right. before Burning Crusade came out. But... Yeah, same year. We started the same yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like back then, little old me was playing on a German server, being weird and doing German things. Yes, uh -huh. exactly. But the end... wait, wait, what yeah. server do you play on? Uh, Terramor. Oh my God, you scared me for a second. I was playing on Teldrassil, and you started with. <laughs> 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 oh my God. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. But... Funny enough, this is actually also where my name comes from because little old German me didn't know uh, striking was an English word that you don't spell like that. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> you know, I thought it looked sort of cool. Uh, and you know, nowadays I just keep because who in their right mind would um, name themselves wrong? So it's always a free name. I, yeah, Still I guess. <laughs> At least you didn't call yourself Cold Zero Ninety Two or some shit. Yeah, that would <laughs> that would be a stupid or Shadow Assassin Sixty Nine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, uh, I actually tried playing again during the Cataclysm, but that just it ruined everything for me with the dungeon browser and everything. I quit during Rap yeah, Lich King, and when I came back, it just. Ugh. Dude, are you me? <laughs> <laughs> I like I I quit I quit in like early Wrath, but um. Like I ke I kept playing every expansion. The expansions were great. Uh, like just playing through them and then quitting like two months in. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, yeah, classic. Wow, I'm excited. I'm really excited. Yeah, I'm it's happy to be you great. Uh, yeah. I mean, people have been asking for it for years, and Blizzard kept saying, "No, no, no, you don't want it. You don't want it." And now they're gonna do it. Yeah, because we want it. <laughs> I think you do, but you don't. Uh, what? I saw that recently with something else. Yes. Yeah. I can't wait for the most important graphic there is, that is the old prairie drug. <laughs> yes! <laughs> this fucking prairie dog. I've seen some stuff on, um, there was like a huge panel which was really cool. Um, if you're interested in, in like, wow things and development stuff, especially development stuff, um, there's like a one hour panel where they explain how they like ported the entire thing over. Mm. And, um, there was like they they showed like how dedicated they fucking are. They, they showed like a random lamp somewhere in the middle of fucking Westfall, <laughs> and they were like, "Oh, this lamp because of our new lighting engine is now like slightly orange tinted instead of the bright white that we used to have." So we changed the lamp texture, <laughs> oh, <laughs> like man. stuff like that. That's they good. They make it like one hundred percent accurate. It's That's crazy. Really cool. they so much I like remember that. one of the developers, I think Omar is his name, actually yeah. said, like locked himself almost in for uh, for two weeks and managed to make the prototype that they used to build on it for the yeah, old version. Uh, for the old version. Good. Yeah. Nice. And since then, he has been hailed as the savior on World uh, World of Warcraft Classic Reddit. <laughs> yeah. It's like always crazy. I I'd like I, fuck. Gunnar's never gonna fucking grasp this unless you play retail. But like, um, I've heard people like ask why the fuck you would play like this super old version of WoW that's like fucking, like really clunky or whatever. But um, it's like it's not even the same game. It's not even yep. remotely close to whatever the fuck we have right now. And the what the what we have right now is just not fun. And then going back and just playing the old shit again is so much better. It's a little bit like Siege, but Siege didn't change like that much. No, I can see. I can see how. Um, I can Siege. I can <laughs> see how it could evolve in a way that you wouldn't want it to. 
Mm. I mean, one of the uh, biggest things that I just don't understand why they did was make it so that the zone scales with your level. What is progression? Yeah, I mean, they want to like they want to do a level squish next expansion mm. too, where like essentially you just lose your levels. I'm not sure. So I guess but, to make it less puffer room in between the same time, like, does that mean that it's going to take longer to level up? Does that mean that you will do less quests, even less of the world where you level? I don't even know. I'm, yeah, I'm I don't curious. know. It seems like it seems really weird, but the, the, that's the big problem with like MMOs, and we, we've seen with WoW mm -hmm. is um, that you always want like meaningful progression. So, um, like for reference, in like classic WoW, a tank would have like five thousand HP, and then obviously, like when you when you reach max level, you would have like three or four thousand, and then you would go to like five or six thousand uh, towards the end of the game. I think. Mm. And then um, the next expansion comes out, and people obviously want to get stronger. So when you're uh, when you're reaching the max level, you're already at like twelve thousand. And then once you like go to the end game, you end up at like twenty thousand. Then the next expansion comes out. You need to do it even more. So like yeah. the numbers inflate like crazy. And by the like fourth, I know in my expansion, the highest HP that I've seen was like a hundred thousand, which is the second expansion. Mm. And the um, third or fourth, the, we, they went like way over a million. And obviously, we're in like the seventh or eighth expansion now. And they had to like squish the numbers down because we would be in the fucking billions. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, it's crazy. And it's, you, can't, you cannot just sustain that. And I have the problem that every, if you want to like level, you would have to go through all the previous expansions. So like you kind of need the Dungeon Finder because you'll never find like enough people. It's like it's some like crazy. Actually, thing mm. can... I can segue into like it seems just Blizzard doesn't really know how to manage leveling and stuff for older games, but newer players. Well, um, he, he, sort of. But my, you can't. my my point is because yeah. um, I mean it's more, maybe different to this obviously, but uh, me and Simi recently started playing Diablo three. We never played mm -hmm. a Diablo game before. And um, we went into it, and there's three difficulty options. It's normal, hard, and expert. Those are the unlocked ones for me. And normal says... <laughs> normal says, uh, pick this if you're a beginner, or you haven't played Diablo 3 for a while. And I was like, okay, I guess the game is really hard? Because, like, surely, if you haven't... If you played a game a lot, but took a break, it doesn't mean you need to go back to normal. Like, you're, yeah. you're not a child. But I was like, okay, I guess the game's hard. We'll pick normal. Um, oh, no. Because, because hard said, play this if you have rare equipment. And then expert said something else. I think it said, like, if you have uh, equipment from the Rise of the Necrodancer, uh, Necromancer DLC, something like that. Um, and I was like, okay, fine. Let's just start on normal. Let's see. And we're, we're blazing through the game like it's nothing. Um, the first boss you meet, Leoric, I was like, I know him from HOTS, I was really excited to fight him. And we killed him in about five seconds. Um, and I thought, okay, well, what's going on? I looked it up, people were like, oh, it gets harder in Act 2. We got to Act 2, still easy, whatever. We saw that in the options you can toggle it up one mode or whatever. We put it up to hard, and then later we put it on Expert, and it's still fucking easy, dude. I mean, we're, we're <laughs> almost at the end of the game now, and we're killing bosses in... 10 seconds slightly over 10 seconds and like what we don't the see their full move sets and i was like there's gotta be something and i i've like throughout our playthrough i kept like i was like no this is like i i kept stopping trying to look it up what's going on why 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 and um and i think and basically i've from my digging up i think i figured out that just they didn't scale the level for how it used to be because on release expert difficult to be used uh, expert difficulty used to be really really hard and people couldn't deal with it but now there's 16 new difficulties so yeah. that they basically like ramp it up slowly but you only unlock those when you beat the game so there the oh. difficulties are just set now in a way that you've already played the game before and you're already max level and you want to like go through adventure mode and shit so basically any new player like me and simi now getting the game now the hardest that you're allowed to play is expert and you still kill bosses in like 10 seconds and it's like I mean, we're still really enjoying the game, but it takes away the fun from... Like, I don't care about killing small mobs yeah, quickly, definitely. but a boss, like, you know, like this big-ass butcher guy comes in and he's like, oh, he's been tormenting you for a while. He's a fucking demon. He's like, there's like flames coming from the ground and stuff, and you just, like, just left-click him and, like, do a few abilities and he's dead. And by the way, we only died once in the entire game, Simi, because she wasn't paying attention 
Because most of the times, the attacks don't even, like, your health is a red bar or whatever, and it doesn't go down. Like, I'm standing <laughs> in attacks and stuff, and it doesn't go down. That's how little I'm taking damage. And it happened <laughs> once. She just wasn't paying attention, and she died once, and I revived her, and it was, like, easy peasy. Like, it's... I don't know... How can you not respect your old game and think of new players? Like, scale the difficulty or allow me to play the harder difficulties. If I could now, I would turn it up, but I can't. But, yep. yeah, it's, I mean, that just shows up. that Blizzard uses accessibility way too much. Yeah, 100%. Like, it's it's very, very similar in, in uh, going back to WoW for a second, yeah. in uh, retail <laughs> WoW right now, where if you play, if you, uh, if you play vanilla, like the old WoW, it's like you pull one, you pull like one enemy, and uh, you like whittle him down within like 15, 20, 30 seconds. And mm -hmm. it's like kind of difficult. If you pull two, it's miss with some classes, it's manageable, but with some classes, you will need to fucking run. You're like, you don't want a two weep one. If you, if you have three, you run every time. There's no way you beat three mm. at, at the same time. But like on retail, um, on the like modern WoW, you literally run and pick as many enemies up as you can, and then you just AOE. <laughs> and you can't die. It's impossible to die. You need to try to die. Yeah, that, that's so... I, I really thought we messed up. Like, we were doing something wrong. It's just mm. Blizzard. <laughs> it, I, it's really something to add to that is there is a, a PvE uh, mode called Warf runs in Battle for Azeroth, the yeah. new expansion, and it's literally impossible to lose almost. There's a streamer that uh, tried with his group to lose it and they had to literally afk for like 30 minutes oh in order God. to lose yeah i don't know why you know it goes back to a few episodes ago tommy where we were discussing should you be able to change your difficulty and we were talking about making yeah. it easier like blizzard should allow us to make it harder man it's it's really a joke it's really yeah, they do it like i i know i know it's uh it's like that at the end too um i'm uh, i might be wrong because i never played the end game of diablo but um, I think Diablo and Path of Exile have the same end game, where you essentially um, you go. In, I think it's called rifts in Diablo. Yeah, where, yeah, yeah. Uh, You I've go like higher and higher, and the higher you go, the more difficult it gets. Yeah, I know that. And the people always say, "Sorry, yeah, go on." I thought you were done. No, no, no. Go, go ahead. Yeah, uh, this is what everyone's saying on the forums. Oh, wait till you get to rifts and stuff. It's like I don't want to wait. I I wanted to play the story and enjoy the story. Why am I like <laughs> killing these like uh, what are they called like? Sin, the uh, sin lords and shit, like the the lords of the underworld. I'm killing them so quickly. Ten seconds? That's nothing, dude. What that do should... you even? What what do you even lose if you die? Do you lose XP? Or... I don't know because we've never died. She died, but I, I rezzed her, so I don't know. Oh, I think her, her she got damaged her items a little. Yes, and she, that's and she, it. But we have like 500k. And she repaired it for like 200 all of her stuff. Like it's a joke, man. It's a joke. Jeez. Mm. I mean, luckily we enjoy the 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 setting and stuff enough anyway. Like we just want to see these cool new demons and like, and it's a fun co-op experience. But yeah, that's uh, not nice. I don't like that. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I haven't played in so many years, and I played haven't played like any like of the like super hardcore stuff. But mm -hmm. that seems really sucky. I'm just playing. It is sucky. I I know Guinness gonna complain. But um, I've just been playing Path of Exile instead. It's I, like, it, I wouldn't complain about you saying I'm playing Path of Exile. I complain because every time I launch Diablo, I you're like, come play <laughs> a better game. <laughs> oh. I do that, dude. I do that like the last like three times I did it as a joke, okay? Yeah, because I know. I know you'd I know. be upset. <laughs> <laughs> but Path of Exile really seems to be the better game. It's actually difficult. Um, like, <laughs> and you, know, <laughs> you know, you actually have to be you have to be aware and conscious playing the game. You know, dude. I'm like at the I'm like at the end game area. There's like enemy groups. Uh, well, not even end game area. I just like go a little bit further and like. There's like enemy groups of like 20, 30 enemies, so you kill like hundreds a minute, and one of the enemies hits you, and you're like at half HP. It's crazy. Yeah. You sometimes just pop instantly, you're dead. And that is still in Diablo 3. I'm just making that clear to people. It is in, but it's just not in from the beginning of the game, how you're. Like your first experience playing through the story. It's not in there, and that's yeah, where that would it should fucking be. fucking suck. Yeah, that's annoying. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's Diablo 3. Um, other stuff to talk about. I. I recently, uh, like I said on last episode, I'm still trying out the Xbox Game Pass. Uh, last week I said I was pleasantly surprised. It's working very okay. It's cool. One euro, good price. Uh, well, now it's fucking annoying because I was halfway through my Wolfenstein 2 playthrough 
and um, suddenly I can't launch the game. I check, it's zero bytes, and because the games are launched, they count as apps. You know, in Windows 10, there's like applications. It's not a mm. separate executable. So you can't easily find the locations and modify files and stuff. What a pain in the ass. But now I haven't played the game in like a week, even though I'm itching to, because I can't download it. But it is beta. I did pay one euro, so I'm not going to complain too much. But mm. um, me and Rage also played some Gears of War. Uh, yeah, I mean, a- again, like, even for its full price when it comes, ten, it's going to be 10 euros for, like, 100 games, they're going to add more, they're going to add Halo and stuff. That's a good deal, man. And the Definitely. app, the app is, is good. Like, it's just, again, we're testing it and stuff. It's, it's broken right now for the last two, three days for me, but it is, a, it is a really good service, and I think that's a really good way to compete with Steam, unlike Epic. <laughs> yep, unlike exclusives. Yeah. Uh, by the way, something about gaming news. Have you heard the news about the new Star Wars game? Uh, which one? About it. Which one? Uh, is Star Wars a Jedi Fallen Order? Yeah, we talked about it on, in the last episode, E3 stuff. Unless there's something new? Uh, Disney will not allow dismemberment. Yeah. Uh, actually, that was kind of oh, interesting. No. You, you, you read, I assume, why? And it kind of... The headline made me cringe a bit, like, oh, come on, dismemberment Star Wars. But it kind of made sense. Did you... Except did, that in every single Star Wars movie, there's somebody being dismembered yeah, in some way. <laughs> that was their point. Their point was, we're going to reserve dismemberment for story uh, stuff. Because stormtroopers and stuff aren't really getting dismembered in the movies. But, you know, Luke's hand gets cut off. And that's like, oh, shit! You know, it's a big moment. So, with that logic, if there is dismemberment, but they're saving it for story, and the fact that they get said that statement, that means someone's probably going to get dismembered, then um, it kind of makes sense a little bit. I get it what you mean, but at the same time, the reason normally in Star Wars movie there was much dismemberment is because there weren't that many lightsaber fights in close Yeah, in yeah close that's range. true. That is true. It was like mostly deflecting a bolt or something, like a shot. Like, like Will fights a lightsaber... Like, especially in the old trilogy, there was, like, one with Obi-Wan, and while he technically didn't get his memory, he got <laughs> literally sent to the Shadow Realm. He fucking disappeared, <laughs> dude. He was gone. Yeah. And yeah. then you got Luke, so that's the second one, and I think that's it with Laser Sword Fight. Yeah. And, was there and, another one? Uh, no. Just in, in the original? In the original three, you're talking about? Hmm. Yeah, the original three. They only had, like, two Laser Sword Fights. Yeah, think. yeah. But well, they had a couple more. Yeah. Which ones? No, uh, You had... Yeah, go on. You had the one in like episode five. We had the one where like um, where, where you had like two um, Va- uh, Luke versus Vader, mm-hmm. and, and had... Obi Wan versus Actually, Vader. Mm-hmm. And, oh, I guess. I yeah, guess there's it's, like, really not much. Like, three or four. Yeah, it's a it's a lot more story, but, but yeah, I guess. One thing though to to point out, like. I mean, I don't know if it would really lose its effectiveness because, I mean, when you're, like, just slaying stormtroopers, it's not like you're going to look at them and be like, oh, my God, what have I done? And then it loses yeah. the effectiveness during that cutscene where a character you care about gets dismembered. It's exactly. Like, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like mindless gameplay, and then you see a character that you care about get dismembered. It's like, oh, it's still going to be brutal. So, I mean, war movies, like, if a character gets shot, it's still effective. People are getting shot the whole time. So... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It, cause yeah, there was something missing when I was watching the gameplay trailer, and he like takes it through the torso, the whole lightsaber, and then nothing comes off. A bit weird, but maybe That's there's gonna be a twist at the end where we find out they're like Jello stormtroopers, and they just like <laughs> like mend themselves afterwards. I mean, of course, it's like the beauty of Bacta. Of what? <laughs> Bacta, the the, uh, the healing juices of the Star Wars universe. <laughs> Okay, I didn't Have know. Have you never picked up a Bacta canister in any game? No, sorry. Uh, mm, Bacta. Now that you're saying it, Bacta. Were they? You all need Bacta. I mean, I've played. Let me see what Star Wars games. I played Lego Star Wars, the most important one. Uh, I played Force Unleashed, Battlefront, and that's it. Yeah, are there Bacta things in those? In, I mean, it should be. It technically is in the universe, so Jello Troopers, I suppose, would be somewhat, but no. It's like. <laughs> Alright, well, I accidentally revealed the ending of that game. Sorry, guys. Yes. Um, I have been sorry. The one, one thing I have to say now that you mentioned LEGO Star Wars is the Yoda death sound. That is all. Is what? The Yoda death sound. <laughs> what does that mean? I've seen, <laughs> I've seen that <laughs> phrase, but I never really, like. Was it, was it funny? <laughs> the Yoda death sound? Yeah, I've played that game a million times, but I don't remember. 
I mean, I like the picture. I always like this little small icon. Um, <laughs> I mean, Star Wars is always relevant. There's like this one for outsiders. There's like this one subreddit um, that's literally just Star Wars memes. And I didn't know you can milk Star Wars that much, but they've been milking it for like probably like four or five years now. I don't know how yeah. that subreddit exists, but it's genuinely funny continuously. They keep finding new shit that's like funny. Um, I just so I had it, probably from them. I had it on my list here. Did you, Tommy? You played Wolfenstein. Striking. Did you play Wolfenstein? Yes. <laughs> I didn't want to play the German version, so no. Okay, so <laughs> I I'll do it talk. like me and get it. Ill, uh, I mean, <laughs> I, got it, I got it like from a proper place, and I just drew if, the swastikas on myself. <laughs> if I gifted it to you, would it be censored? I don't think so. Okay, well, when it's if it's on sale, just tell me. I'll I'll gift it to you. No, nice. Like, it mostly I uh, want to play it in English, be with the German background voices because just yeah, that's nice how it too. is. I, I yeah. I mean, yeah, I wanted to talk about it. a little bit, but um, I won't because I'll just say I this is my second time playing it. It's such an amazing game. It's honestly up there with Half Life Two for me. I fucking loved it. But I'll talk about it next week, maybe uh, when I after I kick you out, so to spare you spoilers. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and so if you if you, you happen to me more than your viewers, if you more, happen more to your viewers that haven't played it, they, 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 they yeah, I mean yeah, sure, but they'll have a warning. I'm not gonna, okay. I could tell you take off your headphones and go for a walk for five minutes, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, <laughs> I contemplate my life choices. <laughs> actually, I, actually, now that I think about it, the stuff I wanted to say, I, I wasn't gonna go into story stuff, um, but uh, it has some of the most interesting cutscenes. In any game I've ever played, do you remember? One hundred percent. Yes. It's like watching an indie movie. It's very, yeah. very interesting. Like the, all the memorable the, too. Yeah, the pacing of the of the music with the cutscenes and like the cuts and it's just like boom. Now we're on this scene. Now we're on this scene and like the dialogue. It's snappy. Yeah, I, I remember it was all so, of them. And yeah, it was yeah, so good. Yeah, the characters good. were great too. I'm the sorry, sorry for bit. interrupting. Yeah, no, no, yeah, that's it. No, yeah, the character, I, no, just it's fucking great, dude. It's such a good <laughs> game. It made me so happy to play it again. And uh, I only played it once when it came out years ago, and I remembered everything. Like, and that doesn't happen yes, that often. Game. I remembered all the leveled sets and stuff, and there's nothing like exceptional. It's not like, uh, oh, it's not like a, oh, I'm fighting on a big orange now. You know, I remember this now. No, it's just, it's just like a train depot or whatever. But it's like. There's something about the layout and the enemies you encounter and everything. Like, it was just... Mm -hmm. I loved it. It was really, really good. And um, for me, the emotions that it evoked as well were so powerful. Like, um, yeah. Yep. It was just it was just fucking... It was a fantastic game. And I loved that all the Germans speak German. And there's subtitles for you to read because you're not a baby. You can read. And it just, like, yeah. really helps immerse you. I loved that game, man. So Also, the, one of the few games where the German voices are actually really fucking good. I could tell. Yeah, I, I could tell. That. I could and, tell. And, like, they, they make sense. They have dialects, too. And oh, so, that's, that's like, really cool. It, yeah, it makes it, like, really, really cool. And, um, oh, my God. All of the cuts, every single cut. I love it. So it's, fucking so it's, so it's so good. It's so good. Don't, don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say Don't say Yeah, okay. I'm not, say, I'm yeah, not yeah, saying yeah. what it is, but just, like, for you to know which yeah, yeah. one. But the one in the train is fucking awesome. I know you like that and one. Yeah. There's the one with the lady. You know which one I mean? Yeah, okay, okay. Enough, enough, enough. I get it. We we love the game. Yes. Let, let's try and go okay, in yeah, completely. It's, good. It, it's, it's really... F oh, my God. Oh I really love that game. I need to replay it. Yeah, you should, dude. And the music is so badass and all different. And, and the gunplay. And the gunplay feels good. It's a good game. Actually, I fucking hate it. I don't know. So so after all that, guys, don't get the game. I'm just recommending <laughs> that you play like uh, something else. But uh, I'll talk about uh, the sequel when I finish it at some point, if Xbox allows me to download it again. But yeah, striking. When it's on sale, tell me. I'll gift it to you. Is good shit. Is good shit. Sure, I also are. started replaying Doom. Because I was really itching for some gunplay. Eternal. 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 It's coming. I want it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, man, I loved I loved Doom so much. This is how I was talking about it when, like, a few podcasts ago. But yesterday I launched it and there was something a little bit... I was. It wasn't clicking with me. I don't know why. Um, maybe I'm just not in the mood or maybe <clears throat> because I... Maybe the first... It was only the first level. Maybe it was just too easy for me and, like, no weapons to play around with. I don't know. Um, yeah, I loved, I loved Doom, I'm really excited for the sequel, but I was kind of disappointed that I wasn't, like, 
super enjoying it yesterday. But yeah, who knows what that was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, that's that. Uh, I guess one game I... Just a really small game I played a while ago. Um, and then I have one more topic and we can end it there, guys. Unless you have stuff to talk about, feel free. Do also remember one more game I want to give the honorable yeah, mention. Yeah, definitely. But first you. Uh, so... Let me just find this game on Steam. So, uh, I don't know if anyone is here is into skateboarding games. Um, Dude, the old Tony Hawk's game. Uh, Tony Hawk's awesome. great. I really like yeah, Tony Hawk's and Skate was awesome. Um, anyway. <laughs> what? I don't know. The fucking pause after this was really funny. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I played a game called Skater XL. Uh, which was promising itself to be... Or not, it wasn't promising itself. People were saying this is Skate on Steam. They're wrong. It's a lot more in depth and realistic than Skate, and to me, to a detriment. But that's not. It's just not what I wanted. Mm. Some people will totally be into that because you actually control both legs individually with both your sticks, and um, it's actually hard to just nail a normal grind in that game. So that's definitely something cool for some players. But for me, I I like the Skate. It's a really good balance between arcadey like Tony Hawk stuff, but also realistic. Um, if anyone's interested in that, it was, it just made me, it was fun, but it made me want to play Skate. Um, mm. I mean, I just, I just thought I'd mention it if anyone's interested. And there's not mm. much now, like, when I played it, there was only one level, it wasn't very big. I mean, that's kind of what you do in real, real life skating, though. You go to one park and you mess around <laughs> there for a bit, so, uh, yeah. I just wanted to yeah. mention that for people. But Dude, mm-hmm. Tony Hawk games are. I, I've never played Skate, but I kind of can't imagine it being better than Tony Hawk. It, oh, it actually, is. I did play it. I grew but up on I, Tony Hawk's. I grew up on it since I was a oh, kid, fuck. and then I played Skate Three in my teens, and I liked it. Like I, I loved it. Like which one did you play? I just don't like skateboarding. <laughs> I like. That's I played the it. Tony Hawk's games because it's like fucking. You just do like some stupid shit. You just like get the some. It doesn't matter if it's like a skateboard. I could do the same with a car and be just as fun. Yeah. You just like jump I mean, around. You do some like ten meter jumps. Skate is the same though, dude. It, it gets crazy. Like it's not as arcadey as Tony Hawk, but it's it's awesome. Just try Skate Three if you ever mm-hmm. get the chance. But it's on Xbox and PS3 only, so. Fuck you, PC gamer. I remember <laughs> playing the demo, and there was like one mode where you could just jump off a ramp, and then you had to like do some hit some targets or some shit with your body. Yeah, yeah, skate. Yeah, there was like a bone bone breaker mode or something. Like you had to, and you could like when you were in the air, you could press your D pad to do different poses. Like you could T pose yeah, or pencil pose oh or like God. curl up, and you would try to I break your bones. And yep. and like there's also buttons you could use to like so I would like to curl up in a ball and you roll and like break your bones and stuff and if you time it right you can press button to kick your feet so you like launch yourself further and you just try to break more bones than your friends that was really fun <laughs> it was it was a really good game I like everyone in the world I just want another skate game fucking EA listen follow Blizzard making classic I just want a Tony Hawk game fuck off they made Tony Hawk's for like 10 years and it was basically like Sonic where nobody liked the last billion games and so they just stopped the last one was making a good one actually there was one that came up relatively recently and yeah there was, was yeah, yeah like, it was fucking like, garbage yeah just give me a good one okay can we just re-release Tony Hawk's Underground 2 there's or... you realize there's a Tony Hawk's game on Steam right uh, Pro Skater oh. HD yeah I played it I played it. Uh, I didn't play that one, so I don't. I pl- I grew up on Underground, which is. I finished that one too. There you go. Hmm, it's good. It's really fun. There that's you what go. Re- reignited me. All right. Uh, that's all my topics. Um, all right. Yeah, that's all my topics. So uh, go on. Nice you, meme. In you the guys, chat, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's one more game that I want to give an honorable mention, and mm-hmm. you know the old saying of like. Uh, like where people say that graphics are important, gameplay is important. Yeah. <laughs> and there's like the most like uh, most gameplay focused game I've ever seen, which just sh- <laughs> shows that in my case at least proves true. It's called Settlements on Steam: Evolution of the Ages Settlements. Which is basically Sick. like uh, how can you say it? Like it sounds like a Tommy it's, game to me. <laughs> Probably a uh, very UI heavy mm. like uh, building game where you like go through from the Stone Ages to the Space Ages while defending your vill- in villages and building them out. That is really shit. Ooh, yeah. boy, you're right. It does look like crap. 
<laughs> wow. That looks like exactly my shit. But it looks it looks that. like a Tommy game for sure. Yeah, I mean that's totally. And by the way, I'm not I'm not uh, shitting on the game. It looks bad, but I'm sure it's fun. Like. Mm. It's uh, just striking, you have you, to accept it. Uh, striking, have you played Dwarf Fortress? Uh, I tried, but uh, I can't. <laughs> play it like Good. It. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Same as you. Yeah. Um, I mean, I yeah, Dwarf Fortress is like the. Uh, uh, Dwarf Fortress is like what Striking just said. Um, it's it's like the it's like gameplay. Yeah, but I know. No graphics. Uh, Dwarf Fortress and is coming to Steam with graphics. I know, but it doesn't <laughs> matter because the UI is still the same. Like if you wanna, <laughs> th this uh, the UI is so incredibly dumb and convoluted and complicated. There's stuff like you wanna build a bed. Okay, first you have to like press B to build. Then you have to like there's no mouse support at all. You're just like mm -hmm. you have to press the button on your keyboard. So you have to B to build, and then like, go like to K to for furniture, and then you have to press U to find all the beds. Then you have to pick the bed, and then you have to like go with the cursor keys to put the bed down in the right place and rotate it around. It's like because there's no mouse support, so you have to like do everything manually. If you go to the like right, like right layer, it seems like super duper convoluted and just like killed everything. Um, but the like gameplay is crazy good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure it would, it's fun. Uh, striking, I saw you playing Bloodstained. I I was really interested in that. I wanted to hear your thoughts. Yes. I haven't played too much of it I yet. I saw, but yeah. It definitely looks like one of those old Castlevania games, and it feels very fluent so far. Like it, uh, the flow is good. Okay, so you uh, you didn't play it too much. Yes, but it definitely. I feel like it's. From what I've heard and from what I see myself, it definitely reminds me a lot of those old Castlevania games. Yeah, I'm I sure. Yeah. That's what it's. I mean, but, even the name sounds like a Castlevania game. Yes, it, I think it's it's a play of the Symphony of the Night, I believe. Yeah, it looks it looks really fun. Uh, I also saw you. I swear I saw you. Oh, you were both playing They Are Billions. You guys have any thoughts yes. on that? Ah, oh. that's yeah. a good game. It is. Yeah, but <laughs> <It's not. laughs> no. Yes. Is there a bug, Tommy? Oh, it just sounded uh, like oh, there was a bug. Okay. No, well, I played um I played it before it went to the 1.0. Mm -hmm. And it looked like um like it, I had I had a bunch of fun, but once you figure out how like it works, like figuring out how it works was the game and then once you figure it out, uh, it's like kind of boring. That kind of sucks. And then yeah, like you don't really have different playstyles. Like you need to do this first, you need to do that first, but it's like a min like you need to just play it perfectly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, you're ruined really easy. Like you're yeah. literally surrounded by like thousands of zombies, and if one single one breaks through, just one anywhere uh, breaks through, hits your building twice, it explodes into three more zombies. They hit your next building, explodes into three more zombies, and then it's a chain reaction. From it the sounds so door. intense though and cool. Yes. Uh, is it, it possible? It is, yeah. is it possible to recover from a zombie like getting through? Like, he, let's say he hits yeah, and starts no, splitting. No, no, no. It's, no. It, it's possible. It depends how far, how well you secluded your villages. Right. Like, yeah, you make much. them into into separations or whatever. Yes. That sounds. I, you, you, I just made one big one. That sounds fun. <laughs> And no wonder you're gonna get ruined by zombie eco But yeah, it's like it's like better in the long term. But I whatever. Would... Um, point being, um, they added a campaign. Yes, and, that's um, the interesting part now. Um, sort of. Do you play any of the campaign? I played a few missions so far. Yeah, the I think it's really nice that there's like an exploration mission too. Uh, yes, yeah, same here. But I th like I got bored by it so fast because I got pretty decent at the like main game and mm -hmm. the first missions are like hey it tells you hey uh, after this mission that's like the introduction mission uh you can play on three different difficulties and you always have different missions available so i thought hey here's uh i can just pick the hard missions then right and no it just puts you like three really easy missions and mm -hmm. it's like a waste of time because you need to wait a lot in that game sort of like everything mm -hmm. just takes time so every mission naturally takes like half an hour there's no speed up? and if it's uh no not really mm -hmm. Like, there's one thing though that is really nice about the campaign is that you you get a technology points and the like to upgrade. So that way, it's like you have to work with less at the start in the first few missions and then figure out what you want to focus on. Do you want to yeah, unlock the soldier class fast? Do you want watchtowers? Yeah, but it's like it it feels like to me uh, it's this it's the like base game the base like survival mode but just stripped down. Mm -hmm. You just have less. And it doesn't seem it yeah. doesn't seem very good to me. Well, I don't to know. me, it's different. I feel like because it's uh, the maps are I think handcrafted. I'm pretty certain. 
Yeah, they're definitely handcrafted. Like the first one, 100%. Um, I don't remember what the, the other ones. Mm. But the one with, with the train, yeah, that was definitely handcrafted. Yeah, I think all of them are handcrafted, which is yeah, which allows them to explore different ways that well, aren't really showable in random generation. Yeah, pretty much. I am interested in the game. I'll pick it up at some point. I don't know. How, it looks like the so. kind of game that I might not be good at, but... I, I mean, that's normal. I really want a game... <laughs> I don't know why this mechanic came into my head because we were talking about separating the village or whatever. I I would like. Uh, a... the... <laughs> oh yeah, so separation. Go on. What do you want to talk with the German about separation? <laughs> I was gonna say, I would like a game which some zombie game which had the mechanic, like um, it's a bit of a weird connection. But you know how in FTL, like if fire got onto your ship, you would open up the doors to like let. Uh, a vacuum come in and, re and release the oxygen so the fire would yes. get yeah i would like a zombie game where you open up doors like you make sacrifices like okay i'm gonna open up and lure the zombies in here so they eat these people so i save my like main guys or something that would be kind of cool wouldn't it wouldn't that be intense <laughs> yeah it sounds like i'm, I'm sorry this is a minor tangent but um, <laughs> there there's a game that i played um like half a year ago or a year ago or so called catastronauts and it's literally FTL meets Overcooked. Oh and, yeah, you um, told me about it. Yeah, mm. you can like you can do that there. There's like <laughs> oh your entire ship is burning. You can open it up. You can open up the thing like an FTL. But if your like teammate is in there, they can just blow it out. Oh, that it. sounds so like, fun. There's mm. so much stuff that you can do with that. That mm. sounds so like, fun. The, honestly, like this mechanic with uh, opening doors and closing doors for zombies. That's technically how I played Killing Floor. If, they, if you ever played that game, I just uh, when things got shit, I just <laughs> welded my teammate in there and ran <laughs> ran away. <laughs> Dude, I actually really miss Killing Floor. That was a fun, and they are still updating it. They always update. Like Killing Floor One was um, supported for years, and now Killing Floor Two still. Yeah, it's insane. And Payday, I want to get back to Payday. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh, you can do similar things in RimWorld too, which is also a game I've been playing. Like, mm. a fuckload recently. Oh my god, I played so much. Yeah, I, you made <laughs> me want that game. Like, the stories... <laughs> like, you told me a story... I mean, I'll let you say it, but about the... Um, how do I word it without spoiling it? There was amputation. Just... Maybe? Oh, maybe you'll know? Oh, yeah. I heard, like... I had a case where... Um, I'm essentially producing drugs. And uh, one of the drugs is like coke. Like, I made a drug base. I'm just fucking making and selling drugs all day. And um, I, my, I, I let my colonists just take them. I didn't forbid it or anything. So they could just take drugs as they want. So some of them got a little bit addicted. And yeah, that, a wee bit. Um, sorry? A wee bit. A, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> and one winter, like my crops died because we had a cold snap. And um, the, essentially, my plants died early, and I couldn't like get the last harvest in. And then for the winter, I didn't like produce. I didn't have any uh, any drugs, and oh, like, no. one of the guys got addicted to it. So that guy went on um, went on withdrawal, and he snapped like crazy. He went around and went on a berserk and punched everybody, and he also set fire to everything. So I was like, "Fuck it! If you don't want to behave, we don't have drugs right now. So we, I'm gonna have to do something about it." So I locked him into his room and amputated both of his legs, to <laughs> so he can't move around anymore. And I just like kept sending somebody in to feed him. And then <laughs> once <laughs> once once we had drugs again, I just I just gave him like two bionic legs. Dude, that just makes and me want to play Sims, him. man. Like yeah, just that's tra <laughs> like you know trapping goblins in your basement. And like and just having Wait, them... goblins and no, no, not <laughs> goblins. I mean gremlins. I mean, yeah. there was a there was a funny story online where someone made a painting gremlin, and it was just like some like a, I don't remember was it a child or whatever. They were just painting That's... in the basement, and they couldn't access the rest of the house, and they would just sell those paintings and make money. But the person was just locked in the basement. <laughs> like, dude, Sims is has so many. Mm. There's so many fucking funny stories. <laughs> but uh, apparently, Tommy has is. A bit fucked up in the head because I was talking about another amputation story, but I guess you have multiple. Oh fuck! I have so know. many I, I, stories like that. Well, the one I was I thinking have, like, of was you said someone, I think, got frostbite in their foot or was shot in the foot or whatever. It had to be amputated, but you misclicked and amputated the other leg. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, there's like a menu. There's like a dropout menu where you can like assign medical operations, and you just like uh, like somebody you had like an injury or I don't remember. Like it might have been frostbite in his like foot, and it was like the left foot, and then you just 
the, you just like have to go into this menu and it shows like, oh, implant leg left side, implant leg right side. And I was like early in the game. So early in the game, the best like prosthetics that you can have is a peg leg. So like, yeah. and um, so like I had to like amputate this leg because it was infected. And if you um, don't amputate an inf infected thing before it like gets too bad, they just fucking die. So it's rather you'd rather lose the leg than the person. So I amputated the leg, but it says like left leg or right leg, and I like I guess I didn't check properly. I just clicked one leg, and I was like, uh, <laughs> yeah, he walked around with the peg leg. I was like, what the fuck is this? The infection? Oh no, it was the right leg. Uh, and just, I gave him two peg legs. It just reminds me of a scary movie, the scene where this guy uh, saws off his own foot, but then it's the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I want this game now, man. Sorry, say again. Was that like in Happy Tree Friends where the guy like amputated his leg with a spoon and then it was the wrong one? No, it does. Oh, <laughs> Maybe. It um, sounds like a Happy Tree Friends. It does, yeah. Uh, yeah. Most of the stuff in my, my base, sorry, just real quick. One of the most stuff in my base um, is like, all of this is kind of drug related. <laughs> I have like one more story where like there's, a, there's a, an ancient creature, kind of looks like a giraffe and it's like really difficult to kill. They're called Thrumbros. And one of them um, went into my storage where I store all my beer. So I uh, I decided, like, they usually can't get in because the doors are locked, but it came in with a, with one of my pawns, so it just got stuck there. So I thought, like, hey, um, this thing gives me a lot of meat, so I just keep it there. And it can't, like, eat anything in there, right? Uh, because it eats grass. I was wrong. It could drink beer, even though it doesn't know how to open the bottle or whatever. So this thing was stuck in my in my um, in my storage room where all my beer is, and it just kept like it just started drinking the beer, and it got addicted to beer. It got a, it got like an alcohol addiction, and eventually it overdosed and it fucking died, <laughs> like a fucking like ancient giraffe. <laughs> God, my classic. Yeah. Um. I have actually one last game I forgot to talk about. I've been playing it for like two weeks straight now. Um, it's called Muse Dash. I actually did a review on it. I think it's a pretty uh, good yes. one if you want to check it out. But it's a rhythm game. Uh, it's a very anime rhythm game, as you can see on screen. But uh, the game is so simple because it started off as a phone game. So it's like you just hit the beats at the bottom, like on the ground, and another button hits on hits the ones in the air. And there's some where you have to do simultaneous ones, some notes go invisible, so you just need to listen to the music. Some you have to like button mash, whatever. Um, but it's so fun, man. I love this game. Like I'm at like 20 hours playtime now or something. And um, I just highly recommend the game. Like, I mean, it looks super <laughs> cutesy and stuff. Like I wouldn't call myself a weeboo, but this game is awesome, dude. Like um, I, some of the music is a little bit, um, Poppy, it, it, yeah, it's it's all weeb, but different yes. types of weeb. Like some of it is like very cutesy, like uh, you know, like those fucking high school animes where they're like dancing and shit. And then there's others which are like jazzy. There's others which are a bit more drum and bass kind of. Um, but man, like most of the music is really really catchy. I'm actually gonna grab some of it uh, for when I stop playing the game. But like the, I don't know. It's just so fun. It's really satisfying. You can unlock different characters. Some of them are a little bit sexy. So be warned in case you hate sexy. Um, but it's a good game, dude. I really, really like it. Like, I've, I've played it, let me see, for how long now? <laughs> um, it looks super fun. It's really, really fun. And the music is great. Yeah. Okay, I played it 11 hours. Only? Sounds yeah. like oh, you only? I expect well, I mean, like 150 hours in it. Jesus. Uh, fucking casual. Exactly, what's wrong with you? You <laughs> even play your games? But I, I really love the game, and it's actually super cheap. It's, uh, let's see, it was uh, three euros. It's three euros. <laughs> That's or, pretty good. Uh, it's on sale now. Full price is 350 euros. I don't know if they exchange it for dollars and pounds and stuff. Um, but I really love the game. But <laughs> here's where it gets a little bit weird. I was like, oh, wow, it's great. But as I was playing, because they gave me a review code for the game, so I was playing it before release, there was some DLC locked songs. I was like, fuck. I wonder how much the DLC will be. I'll buy it. It came out oh, and it's it. <laughs> 24 euros on sale, 30 euros full price for the DLC. I was like, yeah, geez. holy fuck. Okay, so <laughs> you get like 70 new songs. That's pretty good. It's more than even the default. That'll last you a long time. And it also gives you all the songs they'll make in the future. So it's basically a season pass. But that I actually asked for a review code for that. They gave me one, which is which was really great. Um, 
But even after getting it for free and playing the songs and stuff, like, dude, thirty euros is so much for this. Mm, I, I, yeah. For me, the like, there's a favorite song button in the uh, in the game where you can like favorite songs and just play those, whatever. Save them for later. There's like maybe sixty songs in the vanilla game. I favorited maybe fifty of them. They're really, really good. In oh, the wow. DLC, I got there's like seventy songs. I maybe favorited 10, 20. and that's personal. Like that's personal music preference. Maybe there's some people who will love the DLC songs. They're all different genres and stuff. But yeah, fuck, thirty euros is a lot. Is a lot. Mm. So I would only recommend it on sale, or if you just really love the game and you're itching for more songs. Um, <laughs> But regardless of the DLC, the game comes with a lot of content, and I just, I love it. I paused here, there's some titties on the face? What? It's like mid-transition. <laughs> just I was paused on the trailer in a really weird frame. Oh, there! <laughs> it was mid, mid-transition, mid and there were boobies on someone, on her own face. <laughs> that looks fucking stupid. Alright. Anyway, I really like the game. Highly recommend it uh, if you like music rhythm games. It's, it's simple, fun, catchy music. Good stuff. Check out my review to hear the exact same opinions that I just gave, but better edited. There you go. That's it. All right. I uh, watched it. Sound, sounded really good. Yes. The, the, you, you watched it, but it, so the review sounded good. You listened to it. Well, yeah. It, it had good audio quality, is <laughs> right, what I'm cool, saying. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and wow. Uh, yes. okay. I also, my ears did not bleed from watching your review, I have to say. Thank you. That's Thank you, man. That's what I strive for. <laughs> I, as long as you don't want to gouge your eyes out, I did my Wait, job. I, I have a question. How many times? Because you played a, you played like crazy good. That's not you playing normally. You, I can, I can guarantee. I don't believe you <laughs> if you say anything else. You probably sat there for like hours trying to get the perfect song, and then you shadow played it. No. And then you pretend like you do this no. all the time. No. There's no way you no. played the game that well. Mo- There's no dude, way. <laughs> dude, all, all, all like. 90% of the songs I got an S rank first try on hard difficulty and then yeah, some of them sure, I got A. Sure. Motherfuckers, if there's one game I can be good at, let me be good thing. at it. Let me be good at it. I'm just good at it. <laughs> it's, it's fine. You don't have to tell us which YouTuber you took the food from. <laughs> I'm going to live stream. I'm going to I should play the game on the podcast live. <laughs> like, he's gonna like next week. He's gonna be like busy all day making like a fucking uh, tool assisted speedrun of this game that he just puts <laughs> on the fucking screen. Actually, it's funny. There's a character skin that you can unlock where she just plays the song automatically for you. You don't yeah. play. I, I knew that you glanced over that and didn't mention that much in your video, and I understand why now. <laughs> yeah, except she's not used in the gameplay at all, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it must be hard to edit sprites. Yeah, so yeah. I, <laughs> <that's quite laughs> took- <laughs> I suck at the game, I just I just went over and sprited over everything. <laughs> Every frame. No. Yeah. no, joke's on you, I actually modified the game's files. There you go. I did it simply. Oof. Oof. Alright, um... That's all my gaming news. I have one last funny thing to like end on, but it's not related to gaming. It's just related to me. I told Tommy I'd talk about it here. But if you guys no, have no. stuff to talk about, now's the time. Like games you've played or looking forward to or news or whatever. Yeah. And the only thing I want to say is that you are a casual because when you said I played this a lot, I thought there was more than 17 hours well, because it's... I played a lot of more to it about 140 Dude, hours now. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot for a rhythm game that you play like 10 minutes at a time, and it just came out as well so each song is like two minutes long and there's like 50 of them sounds like, an excuse, sounds like an excuse to me all right mr professional <laughs> you're mortal. not gonna you're not gonna get your competitive uh muse dash experience that way if you don't play more i'm actually taking part in a competition for it now I wanna... <laughs> so there you go nice. <laughs> muse dash esports confirmed yep move, Are you gonna, move like, over show up in the costume <laughs> I don't know if yeah maybe you just dress up as one of the characters. Yeah. Let me guess. You, you let me guess. In the tournament, you're gonna use the auto uh, auto win costume. Yeah, you're not meant to say that though, dude. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to go and trick the the tournament runners. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, do you guys have anything you'd like to talk about before we end this thing? That with no, the thing sir. I wanted to say, Thomas. Ooh, I don't have anything. Okay. I lost the funny. All right, the funny. Here we go. Let's see if I can do it right. So there's a there's a precursor to the funny. Uh, I read an article, and it was in the in the newspapers and everything that <laughs> Nicolas Cage is coming to 
fully produce a movie in Cyprus, which is the country I'm in, and nothing happens in Cyprus, so that was like holy shit, big deal. Mm. Uh, there's job openings and stuff. Maybe I should sign up as an editor or something. But it's like oh shit, like Ni- the Nicolas Cage coming to film in Cyprus. That's awesome. Um, and I was I was joking like oh I'll sign up. I should put on my CV like all my experience because. Uh, you guys don't know this, but me and Simi were both in a Cyprus TV soap opera <laughs> at, a, no. a few years ago as extras, like for one episode. Um, <laughs> Fuck I'm googling it right now. Okay. Well, you can't Google it. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna show the footage. That's what I was hoping. That's oh, what I, that's what no. I wanted to end on. But I need to give okay, you a bit boy. of details for it. So it's called Enyaminis in Greek, which is just nine months. Um, and we were just extras. We they said, "Oh, just come show up. We'll pay you twenty euros." I was like, "Dude, twenty euros is fucking nothing." But I'm gonna do it just for the story. And by the way, they didn't even give us the twenty euros in the end. <laughs> like we just left, and they took our phone numbers. They're like, "We'll call you and get tell you how to get paid." And they just never called us. It's been like five years now. Um, nice. <laughs> but yeah, so we showed up, and they said, and it, this was just with my friend Daniel, by the way. Um, he he got us there, and all three of us were extras. And we basically had to be uh, insane patients in an asylum. Because, I don't know, soap operas always love to go to fucking dark places like hospitals and shit. So it's in an asylum. And uh, my friend Daniel was a a doctor. He was like, they said, okay, just put on this this doctor outfit or whatever. Uh, And he has to drag me through a hallway. (laughs) (laughs) Which, by the way, they just left me in my t-shirt. Like, whatever. Just fucking... (laughs) So I was in my (laughs) t-shirt. And Simi also has a... So there's, there's that shot where we're being dragged. I'm going to show it in a second. Where my friend is dragging me. And then there's another shot where it's me and Simi and like one or two other people just acting insane. They were just like, just be crazy. So they told me... And they, they just put on a black shirt for me. They were like, here, just... Like, they literally reused me as a different character. Like, <laughs> to, be, to be fair, the first shot was from me from the back. And then the second one... I'm wearing a black sweater from the front. And they told me, like, just bang on the wall. Look a bit insane. And they told Simi, uh, do whatever you want. And this other guy was, like, pretending to catch a butterfly or some shit. But <laughs> so, but Simi doesn't understand Greek. So they were like, tria, dio, ena, pame. Which is just three, two, one, let's go. Like, <laughs> we're shooting. <laughs> but Simi didn't understand that we're shooting. So she was just, like, looking at the guy pretending to catch a butterfly and laughing like because she was he, he was warming up she thought he was warming up like oh he's just being silly so in the shot you literally you see her being herself just laughing and smiling at this fucking guy it's like what? i'm gonna i'm gonna send it to you guys in discord now uh i need to try and figure out how to put it ah oh, it's too big fuck um should we do it and watch together or something uh well i need to let me see I can. How about how about this? I'll I'll show it on the stream, and then you guys. The stream is only like five seconds delayed or no, something. No, it's like for me, it's like a, a solid minute or so. There's a good delay behind. Minute, it. I don't know really? Why. Um, yeah, I checked it. Already. Okay, I'll show it on stream, and then I can. I'll upload it as an unlisted video, and I'll link it in the description for you guys to watch it. Um, okay. I'm trying to think. I mean, an OBS you can. I was trying to play with this earlier, but it was a little bit messed up. Um, let's see if I can get this to work. So VLC, there you go. I'm showing off VLC. Boom. And I'm going to put it here. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll just talk through. I mean, you you guys look at the stream. See, it might not be there. Or refresh or something. I don't know. But I'm going to play yeah, it I mean, here. we'll just see it once. Yeah, or you can see it later. Uh, oh, and it's not showing foot. Fucking fuck. Clap, clap. It's, <laughs> it's just a black screen, but the window is there. Oh, okay. I don't know. Um, should I just... Uh, is there like a just a screen capture? Oh, I can do screen capture. Let me just do screen capture. And yeah, I'll show it like be, that. That should probably work. For reference, work. you just put the thing on screen. You just put the, like... I'm gonna... Play on I'm sorry, That's guys. This, oh, okay, really? Uh, yeah. This will be worth it, friends. Let me just uh, fix this up. Oh, God. This is awful. It's worth it, though. You need to see this. It's so worth it. Display capture. I'm just going to... Dis- okay, there you go. So you can see my whole screen. Okay. So the viewers... And, and I can actually talk through and explain it here. This, this is going to be good. So... All right. So I recorded it off the website. So that's me and my white shirt being dragged. Daniel's on the left here. Just <laughs> he's like escorting me through the facility. I'm trying to be a little bit twitchy. <laughs> 
Oh boy. Wait, I'm gonna, wait I'm gonna probably have to mute you for a second. Sure, sure, that's fine. Me, so like I can actually understand what's happening. And then here, okay, these main characters are like looking. There's me on banging on the wall. This guy's pretending to catch a fly, and Simi's just looking at him. <laughs> She's just fucking staring at him. Look, there she he doesn't is. know. Track. She doesn't know that. Th <laughs> She's like smiling, and she just moves out the side. And they're like, "Yep, first take." First take, easy peasy. Second take, Sammy? Are you sure about that? Yeah. Uh, are you sure? Because it's obviously you yeah. didn't you didn't know when the takes were happening, Sammy. So how can you take, know? First take, I did act. Here, like come. I, you can come to the mic. In the first take, I did act like I was walking back and forth, all crazy like. But he said, nah, "Not good enough" or something. Uh oh. <laughs> oh boy. And then the second time, I didn't know that he started filming again. So. Oh my god, man. Like, I'm literally just looking at the guy confused, like, what the hell is going on? I love it, man. I'll, I'll also, I'll upload it on listed, a link in the description if you guys want to watch it. Um, just like, without, without my commentary. Um. Okay, that is really funny. I just like, watched that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and if anyone's watching it live, just give me like 10 minutes and it'll be uploaded. Such a funny experience, man. And I, oh, I thought I lost it recently. I was so sad, but I found it. So uh, shout out to Enya Minis. They're still going. It's like five seasons. And every episode I go to, it's just there in the hospital. And I still haven't been paid, by the way. 20 euros <laughs> for my hard work. I, they used me in two shots, and they didn't pay me. Two. But yeah, that was... Truly desperate times. That was so fucking funny to me, man. Like, yeah. All right, friends. Um... I think we can end it here. So cue the music striking. Alright, no, shut up. I'm playing my own music now. <laughs> Why'd you go to Imperial March? I don't know, because like, I thought, wait, I can't sing, some, I can't sing the German and Feeb. Wait, so I thought, it's close second. We can sing the Imperial March together. I'll do the background music. Alright, I'll sign out like that. Forget this music. All right. You guys are probably going to be out of the Don't let me hang like that. No, he, he, he was coming in. That's how the song is. Oh, no, okay. Right. Thank you for watching, everybody. This is a very good sign off. Please don't forget to check out my YouTube channel if you want some more videos from me. Uh, and uh, thank you to Tommy for joining us. <laughs> to striking for joining us and we'll see you next time have a wonderful good time no keep going because i need to play the outro card and it needs music